Dear friends in Christ, today, together with me, let us meditate upon our inevitable need for grace, the help of God, the help of our Mother, in our daily battle against sin and temptation. In the midst of this battle, our Blessed Mother plays an excellent role, for she is the Lady full of grace. St. Maximilian teaches that there is no grace that is not given to her. And she is the mother who understands, a channel of grace between God and man. She is the mediatrix of all graces. She is the greatest intercessor. We must remember that God never hesitates to render us his bountiful grace through the hands of our Blessed Mother Mary. In order to understand how important and necessary grace is. First and foremost, we need to realize that we are all sinners. We know deep inside us that something isn't right. As St. Paul in the letter to the Romans says, I do not understand what to do. For what I want to do, I do not do. But what I hate, I do. There is a natural inclination towards sin in us, not wanting to do the good, desiring good, but an end of doing the bad things instead. This tension between sinning and not sinning is always present in us. The English writer T.K. Chesterton famously said, We are all in a boat over the raging sea, and we are all feeling seasick. This is absolutely right. We are feeling seasick in the rampant sea of sin. This situation of ours calls for a divine intervention and assistance, without which we are hapless, sure as to lose the battle against sin and temptation. The divine intervention happens when Jesus Christ became man through the incarnation in the womb of Blessed Mother Mary through the power of the Holy Spirit, in order that He might save us. Mary is prepared by God. By conceiving Jesus in her womb, she became the God-bearer. She became the channel through which the grace of God flows for all humanity, whereby she became a lady full of grace. She became the dispenser of grace. As she is a woman and a mother, who is full of grace, looks upon us and stretches her hands out to assist us in our struggle against sin. She knew so well where the fountain of grace lies, rather she carried in her womb the very Jesus, who will free us from our sin and give us life. She bore Jesus, raised him up, until the last moment on Mount Calvary, where her very own Son Jesus, our Saviour, hangs on the cross, soaked in blood, his flesh ripped apart, a terrible suffering he suffered. Mother Mary stood still under the cross, contemplating upon her Son Jesus' wound. The ugliness and the cruelty of sins of all humanity is shown in the horrible and the brutality of Jesus' suffering and death. There Mary saw the ugliness of sin. As she crushed the head of the serpent, she crushes the tyranny of sins. Jesus knew so well that we alone cannot fight in this battle against sin. So he gave us his mother as our mother, saying, Woman, behold your son. Son, behold your mother. Whereby she became a mother of us all, a mother who understands here, Pope Benedict explains, John took Mary into his own home, means he took her into his inner life setting. We must do the same. We must take our mother Mary into our home, into our life, for she understands that we can't win the struggle against sin and temptation alone. So she stands by our side, renders his motherly help and heavenly grace. She cares for us. She struggles with us. She intercedes for us 
Above all, she is ever present on our side as a mother. Rightly, she is given the title, the Mediatrix of all graces. Let us be devoted to her each day. Let us place our filial trust in our mother's love and care. Now, I'd like to invite you to say a Hail Mary in asking for assistance in our battle against sin and temptation. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for